Come on, Mama's going outside. Come on. for this one y'all so bear with me all right so there's really no intro to this video so I'm gonna get basically just straight into the reason why I am deciding to leave the Instagram personal finance community and I will say I feel like I need to preface this by saying you know, the women that I have made connections to in this community, um, they are amazing. I want them to continue to grow and flourish. Um, and some of the reasons why I am leaving that I will be talking about in this video, I am not saying that the people who do these things are bad people. I am just saying that you know, we all have different things that work for us and our moral compasses do not all go in the same direction. This is just basically what does not work for me and that is it all right so let's talk the journey i started my instagram like three years ago i think in 2019 and it was just to help other single moms in the community because i just felt like we lacked representation and i kind of needed to stand in the gap because it was frustrating not to have um anyone that i could look at or look up to for advice because they were um, dual income households and so I started my page not expecting anyone to follow you know how how these stories go and it did it did blow up so my story was something that resonated with a lot of people which led me to feel like I had to keep going because obviously these people they needed the representation but as the years have progressed I have been wanting to post less and less and that's just because of certain marketing tactics um, that are very common in the community that I don't personally agree with I believe that every person especially the women out here doing this type of work. They deserve to be paid for their time, their skill set, their experience, um, their, their products, all of that. Everyone deserves to be paid. So I just want to get that clear and out of the way. But um, I feel like for me, when I got to the marketing side of things, that's when things started to shift. And in this world uh, where social media is so large and everyone is kind of building their businesses on social media, everyone, it seems like, you know, everyone has something to sell, which is a great thing. But the marketing side of it was just something that was not, it didn't quite sit right with, with me. And I say that because when you're dealing with money, personal finance, you are dealing with people, you know, being in debt and not feeling like they have enough in savings. They feel like they're, they're drowning under a pile of bills. So when you're creating content for this specific group of people, you have to be very intentional about being mindful of the message that you are putting behind each piece of content that is coming out. And um, I say that because it can be very easy to start profiting off of someone's pain and, and ignorance, their, their lack of knowledge around something that you have knowledge on. And as I got into that side, it kind of started to become evident in um, certain pieces of content where that's exactly what was happening. And I it, it was very difficult to try to create in this space where I felt like the the main point, the objective of 
the personal finance community was being lost in you know the a numbers game whenever you start something it's very it's it's new like it's exciting it's fun your creative juices are flowing you're coming from an authentic place in regards to your heart posture but you know as you keep going on and maybe you're gaining more attention it can be it it, it kind of gets unclear why you started what you started in the beginning and you your creativity it's very easy for your creativity to get lost and your excitement to get lost because you're now creating for an audience whether that's on social media or off social media you're still performing for your audience and I yearn to have full control of my creativity I don't want to place barriers on myself in regards to having to post four times a week you know having to use these certain keywords having to post at this specific time there are so many rules like you don't realize there's so many rules that goes behind um building a, a business or having a presence online and I know that's the new wave you know I know that's the new wave, uh, especially since the pandemic hit and you, you want to gain attention when it comes to your business so that you can increase your profit. But I, I find as someone who's not money motivated, like I've said in a few videos, I'm not money motivated. I love money management, but as far as doing things just to make a certain number, it's very difficult for me so coming from that perspective it was very 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 difficult for me to release creative control to stick to certain type of analytics i feel like the worst thing you can do is to water yourself down to water down your creativity and your light and what makes you special and what makes you stand out and despite anything else you know you can keep a little bit of your voice your individuality and things like that um you you kind of do have to make what you're creating fit within this box like it has to fit within this list of requirements otherwise it's just not going to be picked up and um, it, it's not going to get the attention that maybe you were you were hoping for and um, I feel like my you may have noticed that my videos have kind of fluctuated in regards to style basically I feel like I am just yearning for what I feel um, is authentic and I want to go back to why I started doing what I was doing. I enjoyed creating and I enjoy being of service. I feel like that is my my calling. That is my purpose to be of of service and I have to stay in constant prayer that, you know, I keep an eye and check my heart posture to make sure that I don't get swept in up in, in analytics and and do this and do that and if you want to do this then you need to do that and I feel like I was missing that for a very long time for a very long time I felt like I was missing a personal connection that I had in the beginning to you all you know to the people who uh, were engaging with my content and that's because um, it's very easy to go from a creative to like you know a CEO mindset a business owner mindset like oh I have to monetize this and we're, we're living in this world that's like monetize it monetize it you should don't do anything for free you should make money off of this and in a sense that is um, there's nothing wrong with that but if that's at the forefront of your mind you are going to lose that personal touch that connected you to these people because you're not really seeing them as people anymore you're seeing them you know as potential clients or potential customers and I will admit 100% um, that that got me for a while and that was creating a feeling that I couldn't put my finger on that like something uh, was was wrong and it took me a long time it's been this way for over a year battling with ego 
not wanting to let my ego go so that I could go back to a place where I wasn't anxious, I wasn't feeling overwhelmed, and I wasn't lacking motivation. I had to put my ego aside to step back into my pure authentic self so that I could create authentically and just have a personal connection with you guys, which is probably why you've noticed that, you know, my video styles now fluctuate. I'm branching out to other you know other subjects and um, I'm loving it I love not feeling like I have to post at a certain time I have to put certain keywords at a, at a certain time I have to provoke you know um, um, certain type of emotions to get the most engagement I have to do this specific type of thing where you know I, I put out how much money I made and then I put if you want to live like this to link in bio you know <laughs> or to to host a, a master class or a webinar where I'm I'm selling something at the end it was very overwhelming and tiring and I don't want to live for my audience but I do want to be of service and I have to go back to who I am so if you are creating especially online please 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 do not alter yourself for your audience do not identify as who you are online remember to keep your identity in the real world and just be of service remember why you started so that you don't get swept up on this as well and get anxious and and feeling like something is misaligned but ego won't allow you to let go the biggest lesson i will say that I have learned on this three, four year journey of creating personal finance content, which I still am, you know, I, I have my YouTube, I love my YouTube. I put more time, hopefully you guys have noticed, to, towards YouTube versus Instagram because um, I love the genuine connection here. I feel like we are, you know, like a close knit, type of online community or, or family I can sit down and talk to you guys and it doesn't bother you that <laughs> I, I'm rambling for 15 minutes because this is long form content I can be more in depth more thorough I don't have to you know squeeze my lesson down to two three sentences because I want someone to purchase the full course or the full ebook to get you know the 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 meat and potatoes of, of everything i can do that here and i don't have to ask you guys to click a link in something it can be where i can make money yes i can still make money we are all deserving to make money but i can give you what you need and i can have connection to you and it feels pure and authentic and i i don't have any barriers to my creativity i can literally create the way i want to create and that is just it made so much sense to come here even though I felt like you know I couldn't do it it's very oversaturated I love it here but the biggest lesson that I have learned is that when you create something through your trauma and your pain and you no longer need that something in your healed stage you have to let it go it's okay to let that go and I created money boss mama in a time uh, of trauma and pain I was broke I was frustrated I couldn't find help I felt like I couldn't get help and as I'm learning I'm having to go through the pain of trial and error because I didn't have anyone to you know help me it wasn't really a lot on Google for single moms and so as I'm learning through the pain of trial and error I'm just putting it online and it's you know it's gaining uh, it's gaining attention but as I got to a place of being financially stable, then debt free, you know, having a fully funded, you know, um, emergency fund and things like that, I'm healing. So I'm healing as my finances are healing. And then I realized that what I created or birthed through my trauma, 
I have to detach myself from, especially if I'm feeling like it's not aligning with the version of who I've become. And I told you guys, like this financial journey is not about you shifting your finances. It's about you changing yourself. You are shifting yourself. You are changing your behaviors and your thought patterns. And in turn, that is playing a role in how you manage your money. So think about like when you started your financial journey, if you've been on it for quite some time, you're completely different. You know, you're able to save, you're able to delay gratification and tell yourself no, you know, you've had to heal certain traumas so that you stop overspending or managing your money in a way that's not aligning with your, your vision or your goals. You're a completely different person. Money is so deeply rooted to our identity and self-esteem. You probably feel so much better about yourself. You know, your, your standards are higher. You're walking with your chest poked out. You're your head up high and so you have become a an evolved woman or an evolved man and um you're just a lot different from from how you started and so i'm different i'm evolving i'm growing like i said in my video where i was talking about you know discipline and what i learned about discipline when something is new um is unfamiliar territory and you're gonna to try to convince yourself to go back to your old ways because it's scary, it's rooted in fear. But if you lean into those emotions and you stare them down and you face them with facts, then you're able to step over that fear and progress. And life is just a series of stepping over fears so that you can continue to grow and continue to elevate and expand and reach new visions and goals for yourself. But you can't do that if you're letting fear dictate what you do in life. And so I have to take my own advice. I have to eat my own words and, um, and, and let go of something that is no longer serving me so that I can serve you in new ways. So I am really excited for what is to come for this channel. If you've been here from the beginning, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're still gonna get our money right. We're gonna get our mind right. I do enjoy you know, talking about personal development as well because homegirl has, her mindset has come from the trenches, okay? And so I just want us all to elevate and have a safe place where women, especially black women, we can see each other winning financially and we're, we're healing past generational trauma and we are realizing our worth and we're acting accordingly. So thank you guys for being part of this community. Thank you for letting me talk to you uh, completely unscripted today and I do pray that you guys stick with me throughout this journey and I will catch you guys in the next one.